Hello beautiful people, hope so you're all having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. Today we are going to study the second category of functions in C++. So we are going to cover function with arguments and no return value. This function accepts arguments but do not return value back to the calling function it is single one-way type communication generally output is printed in the call function why because there is no return value so let's see the syntax here first of all here you are watching the prototype void is a function type larger is an identifier and two ints are the list of parameters data type so again below is the larger is the identifier and a and b is the list of actual parameters listen these are actual parameters and below here is the void is the function type or return type what you can say larger is again an identifier and int x comma int y these both are the list of formal parameters and in the function we will perform statements whatever you want you would be more clear in the upcoming examples so today we are going to do two programs one for the very beginners and the second one is for a bit advanced programmer so let's move towards our very first example simple program to print statement which which would be present in the function using function with arguments and no return value let's move towards our visual studio now let's make it a little bigger so you can people watch it more clearly but if i make it a little bigger okay here we go first of all comes the preprocessor directive hash include is stream is a header file which contains input output functions and using namespace here an std in and the main function again I'm just writing the basic syntax right now and system pause is the return statement. So here we go, the basic syntax. First of all, we will write the prototype of function. Our function name would be here like sum and the data types. Okay, these are the parameters. Uh, so let me let me tell you something about parameters. Okay. C++ functions exchange information by means of parameters and arguments. Arguments are separated by commas. For example, function to add let's take uh, we are taking example of function which is adding three numbers uh, so we have to make uh, three parameters because we are passing values from the uh, function call to the place where uh, the actual uh, actual definition is uh, happening okay so let's move uh, like this we are taking example here wide larger and the, there are three parameters means you can separate comma uh, parameter according to the requirement well the parameters can be infinite uh, like you can see uh, we made uh, a number of parameters of different data types in flow double in right? it's up to totally on your requirement so let's move back uh, we actually required um, let's say three parameters because we want to take some of three values so let's make all of type integers uh, and now we are done with our prototype and here is the function call and our function name is sum and again we have to write the list of actual parameters 
So let's say our actual parameters are x, y, and z. We have to declare these variables x, y, and z. Okay. We will also print message for user print value, please. Enter values. I'm using void here because there is no return value. And our function name is sum. Now we have to make the formal parameters. So let's say our formal parameters are a in b and in c. This is the function definition and this is the function call. This is function. So we should also write C in so that user can enter three values. So here we go. Declare another local variable and write is equal to zero to avoid garbage value and add and add these. Now we will use these three variable and show up here now if we run the program let's see okay if we run the program here then let's say I enter three values 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 30 it should give 60 here oh it's giving 10 maybe i have we are having some problem yes obviously we will write a then we will get value of a so add put add here and now let's the program 10 20 and 30 we should get 60 now yes we got it you can see this v60 is present here this was the first example hope so it clears do write in comment section if you have any problem the next example we are going to do is uh, we will print Fibonacci series using function with arguments and no return value the Fibonacci series is a series of numbers where a number is found by adding up the two numbers before it uh, starting with 0 or 1 and the sequence goes to 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 and so forth uh, you can see that uh, every number is the sum of the previous two numbers like you can say 2 is the sum of previous two numbers 1 plus 1 and 3 is the sum of previous two numbers 2 and 1 and 5 is the sum of 3 and 2 and so on if you have any confusion you can watch my previous tutorial on uh, Fibonacci series okay uh, in this tutorial we are particularly focusing on function with arguments and no return value so uh, it works in this way that you can see that one is the sum of previous two number and the, it is saved into the third variable uh, you can see in the next in this example or diagram and Two is the sum of previous two number and it gets updated. So now let's move towards our Visual Studio to make the program. There we go. First of all, preprocessor directive and using namespace and std and the main function and system is the return statement. Okay, we have to make function with no return value and arguments, but with arguments, okay? Is it? With arguments and no return value.
make the screen bigger so you can watch more clearly first of all you'll write prototype here and our function name is fabnc okay let me tell you that uh, what we will actually do with this uh, fabnc how it is how it is different from our previous tutorials uh, on fabnc uh, in the previous tutorial we did uh, the simple printing of Fibonacci series but right now we will uh, add we will put two values from the main function and the first two values of Fibonacci series uh, actually will pass through the main function into the function definition and it will perform their function there we will also uh, use another variable position which will determine that how much number we want to print there on the program uh, so again we will print the first two number of Fibonacci series and another third variable position to determine that how many number we want to print here so let's move here as we go we need three variable here of type in as I told you and right here is the function I'm writing the function called here and the parameters actual parameters a our one first variables position then a and B here we go the list also declare these variable to remove error position position a and b how much you wanna print actually i may a uh, little longer the tutorial so you can people can properly understand and go to depth enter the first number we will copy this here and change it to second and change this variable to b now make a function definition even nasty and the list of formal parameters now which can be x and y and z so make a loop to print the Fibonacci series now here we are using X for position and setting it from I from 0 and here is the basic formula for the printing of Fibonacci series which is actually the Y plus Z you can go in detail by watching my previous uh, video on Fibonacci series we have to declare another variable initialize this another variable first here and uh, and the value first value will get updated in this way and the second value will get updated with the first so It actually misses the first number so we have to write it manually this is why here and here we go so you can see that we are now done with our program oh baby what are you doing okay So we are done with it we are using no return value you can see however we are passing three arguments uh, it is the list of actual parameter and this is the list of 
formal parameter now let's run the program you can watch the Fibonacci series by watching my slides okay the first uh, I want to print like uh, 10 numbers our our first number of Fibonacci series will be 3 and uh, I want to start with the 3 and the second number with 5 so now let's see yes we got it the first number is showing up here 3 5 a 13 21 34 and so on these 10 or 11 uh, Fibonacci number however in fact the Fibonacci number starts from 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 however in the at this place it is starting from 3 and 5 because we defined it to do so so here we go hope so you are clear with the programs I tried my level best to teach you guys if you have any suggestion if you have any carry if you have any uh, you can say suggestion carry improvement suggestion but okay whatever you can call it uh, then do write in comment section okay uh, that's what I actually want to say uh, and again invest your uh, one minute don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to download C++ quiz application to increase your knowledge of C++ uh, here's the app uh, and for Java student I don't forget I cannot forget Java students okay so here's another app for you guys link of both apps would be in comment section uh, again like always thanks for watching peace